Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys. So with that, let's head over to the heart of Texas, massive AT&T Stadium in Arlington. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Here's the former Cornhusker Brett Maher to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Steelers' offense getting set for their first drive. They're led onto the field by a man who needs no introduction, Ben Roethlisberger. An absolute prototype for what you draw up as a big, strong quarterback that has to stay in the pocket and make big throws with people all around him and even hanging on him and still has that type of strength to get the ball downfield. Ben Roethlisberger, an absolute rock in the pocket, but he also can escape and make big plays that way as well. Here we go, here we go. Blue 30. 54. Get trapped, get trapped. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Offensive starters, here they are. David DeCastro, what do you think about him, Charles? Brandon could not have been better trained at Stanford. So well-schooled in the run game and the pass game, and especially in pro principles. David DeCastro could be an all-pro in the years to come. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To throw here, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And a look at the defense for the Cowboys. Sean Lee's one of my favorite players, and I don't mind saying it because I love his versatility. I can move him inside at the linebacker position. I can move him outside. I can rush him off the edge, rush him up the middle. He can drop into pass coverage. In fact, his versatility was on display even in his high school days where he was a big-time high school basketball player that had a chance to play in college as well. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And this will go to the 28-yard line. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. On fourth down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. Back deep for the Cowboys, Tavon Austin. He spins free. Oh, he's taken down here by his face mask by the looks of it. And a penalty flag is going to give a much better starting position. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards.
So after the face mask, they get to start all the way up past the 35 now. Here's Elliott, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Prescott, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. To throw is Prescott. And an alley to run. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep for the Steelers, Ryan Switzer. Get ready, get ready, get ready. We're scoreless after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they'll start with a first and 10 at their own 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Roethlisberger will throw. That's complete to his running back, Connor. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now Austin. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. 
Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Prescott on first down. And an alley to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 in the first. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and 10, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To back good plays have them on the move on first down out of the gun here's Prescott completes it to Jason Witten the Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Prescott to throw it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Prescott, he can run for it, and he will. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 31-yard line. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Could we get a touchdown to this first half after all? It's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First and 10 at the 18 yard line. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. The kick by Maher is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate, in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still... Any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The 
Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's it got his man complete. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big play there just before halftime. 41 yards. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Elliott going to bite off about seven on that one. A good run on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. A first down carry by Elliott. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Power running by Zeke. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 33 and a first. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. That one complete to Elliott. 
And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. play wound up for negative yardage so here's second and 11. On the RPO Prescott's going to keep it himself. A quick throw here out to Cobb. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Prescott. And a steal of pressure too much here. He's going down. Bud Dupree coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. To the main field goal. Marr back out there to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So Big Ben and the Steelers now. Down 6 nothing. 2.09 to play. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 21. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. A well executed 22 yard gain. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now this throw, it's complete. It's Moncrief with it. That throw good for four. It's second down. 
What a big tackle there defensively. One of the most difficult things for a defender to do, and think about the speed that he brought down. If he gets away, he's likely gone. Go. Now the Steelers hustling up to the line of scrimmage. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. <laughs> They'll look to throw. You got me, you got me. And this is Moncrief with a catch. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Back to throw. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. Partner, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Roethlisberger. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He'll look to throw. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? That, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 18. He's back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Ryan Switzer, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, there's a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. Deep ball, short ball, that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a gain of five, and that'll lead here to a third down. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And now they're an extra point away from winning this thing in the final seconds. They got the dramatic score to tie the game here late fourth quarter. Now all eyes resting on the foot of one man. Yeah, no doubt about it. I, you know, your brother called me before the game. That's his guy in fantasy. He <laughs> needs this one badly. So they're not home yet. Still a critical extra point here to break the tie. <laughs> And they have got the lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line. Check. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it, and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.
ですか。